feminism is about coming at things like from a place of generating rather than extracting things. My name is Tania Guiniga. Um, I'm an artist, an activist, a mother, an educator, a maker. I started getting interested in working with art like first through understanding like its power to change community, to heal trauma, to address like what made us different from both the Mexican side and from the US side, you know, growing up on the border. I started going towards fiber and it was also like a way of exploring culture and exploring imaginary spaces of all these different ways of like relating to material, to like the land, to your body, to regain access to a lot of stuff that um, had been like lost because of like migration and colonization. It's hard not to think about being in a museum show without thinking about what a museum represents. You know, like this colonial, like patriarchal institution. And like, how do we push back against it? Like having the privilege to like speak up, like who do we like give the mic to? So for this piece, I really wanted to think about like things that museums collect, uh, artwork and the content that's in artwork that like museums show, you know? And thinking about the complexities of like living safely in a femme body and just the complexities of the issues that we deal with that for the most part nobody talks about things that that like white men or men in general are like uncomfortable like talking about or acknowledging the hugest most amazing most generous thing of it all was everybody's submissions and how much power and intention everybody's contributions made to the piece. The idea was to do like a full on like exorcism and to like exercise out cis white male like patriarchal energy. In the beginning, a lot of it lived in the space of ceremony and it lived in this space of um, like really like wanting to come in and like cleanse and remake and like reshuffle. The idea was to make this huge amulet made specifically for the museum so it was like all size to like the biggest that I could go in the space to like lift up our stories and also release a lot of things you know painful things anything that we wanted to kind of like bring into this conversation, you know, all the things that, that femme identified folk need to feel safe, but then also to feel supported and to feel supported as artists, to feel supported just like as people. Like the piece just really called for people to listen. I hope that people download the book of all the stories and, and the images, because I think in there is just so many lessons for us to learn from. And I hope that that like just nudges doors and, and thought and like spaces open a little bit more for everyone to to think about how much further we have to fight. Yeah, it just feels like like a really great gift to be able to make art, you know, at a time when so many important voices, you know, are not represented and so it's yeah, a really great honor.